go to step here, I got a notification on my phone from the Good Hope FM app. And it was the first time I ever got a notification. And I was like, who is this? Like, w- what's going on here? I went into it and it says, we are live with Simon Says Live session. So it was my first, uh, it was my first moment for the day with the Good Hope FM app. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, you know what to do. Welcome to it, Mr. Seth Gray. Please give him another round of applause. What's up? What's up? Singer, songwriter, producer, hair model. Can we throw that in there? Um, kind of, yeah. Kind of, okay, <laughs> cool. As well as a now teacher, music teacher. Music teacher It's all well. coming together. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. It's great to be here. Let's start, with the, let's start at the beginning. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much of a perfectionist are you? 10. <laughs> okay, so what, is that, what does that mean when it comes to making music and releasing it? It means I run myself crazy and my mind just goes wild and it's just trying to contain yourself and those perfections and figure out which ones need to be perfect and which ones need to be left alone. Because I think there's some moments sometimes in a take that is emotionally correct, but the note might be a bit, you know, not 100%. I mean, sometimes my voice is cracked and I'm like, oh, that sounded horrible. Then my engineer's like, no, we're keeping that's that the in. One. We're keeping that's that the, in. That's the one. And I think more often than not, these kind of things happen in the studio. As an artist, you, you know, you, you kind of put it out there and you're like, ah, oh, that's not good enough. Yeah. But, but in the same breath, when you listen back to, your, to, to music, there's always something you feel that you could change. So, so how, how do you get to a point where you finally say, okay, cool, I'm going to let the dove out of the cage and fly into the horizon? I think first, what I try to do is I have all of these ideas of what it wants to be. And then I first look at what are the main crucial points that actually make the song. Um, break it down to its elements and really find out what is the thing that makes it... It's groovy, what's the bass line, what is that thing that makes it perfect, and then add on all the ele- other elements. And then you'll see how the song starts to evolve, and once I think it's close to what I knew from the start, but still has the little pretty elements around the, it, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. when I know that's I the like one. that. So Seth Gray's released a, a new single called OSL, and uh, we've been playing it, we've been supporting the song. Has anyone here in the building heard OSL? You're going to hear it tonight. <laughs> Right here, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to perform it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to, to the performance. So tell me, tell me about the song and how it came into fruition. Um, you wrote it a long time ago. Yeah, I remember getting the song or a demo of it or something many years ago. The first time you heard the song was when we were, I was your backing vocalist for K-Day. Oh, wow. And you were driving me to the taxi. And... <laughs> I sound, I sound so kind. No, nah, you gave me a lift. That, 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 was, that was very kind. Not a lot of artists do that. Um, so you t- gave me a lift, and then I just took the opportunity and said, Chad, let me, let me connect to your Bluetooth, and I played you the first demo. Smart man. Please give this man a <laughs> round of applause. That's called, that's called maximizing the moment. Okay. Yeah. But obviously, you got them safely. Yeah, I got them safely. I and uh, you told me to keep on working on it. Okay. And that's exactly what I did. And I knew it wasn't the version that it was meant to be, but four years down the line, we're here. Wow, this is a full circle moment, and I really need to start remembering these things, because I forgot that I, t- t- you know, kindness is not something you write down, you know, you know or you post yeah. about, you just no? do it. Exactly. Next time, I'm going to add this to the book, just we can chat <laughs> about it afterwards. Uh, so, so then the song is, is being, uh, you know, being made for four years, and it finally comes out, and the day it's coming out, how, how are you feeling on this day? I was just excited. I was really, I was telling my mom in the week, I was like, after working on something for so long, you'd think you'd be nervous. And it was my debut track as well. So I didn't know what nerves I was supposed to, to feel. But I really just felt that God just helped me to calm my nerves down and just be like, you've been working hard for this. Just release your art. This is what you're made and meant to do. Just do it. I love that for you. Uh, to the listeners, uh, it is Simon Says Live Session. Seth Gray on the couch. We're getting to chat to him before his performance uh, tonight. Uh, tell me about the performance. Like, uh, when last have you done a performance like this? It's actually been quite a while. I mean, I'm trying to think back to the last time I've done a fully original set. Um, maybe last year. March sometime. Okay, okay, so, so, but, so, so we're quite yeah, excited for it. it it's, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. So. You guys are in for something special, <laughs> everyone in the audience. Uh, you guys are feeling good? 
Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm feeling that energy from you tonight. You know, I like that. The more you give me, uh, the happier I get. And uh, Seth, you can have a sip of water. We have to tell everyone back home who's not streaming in uh, that Seth uh, is dressed in a beautiful little shacket. Is this what the, like a shacket? Shirt, shirt, jacket, jacket. It's my grandpa's, wardrobe. actually. Your grandpa's? Mm. Oh, man. That's what the cool kids are doing now. I, okay, I didn't buy this. But I mean, it's, I got it from a shop. You got it from your grandpa. That's a lot cooler. I need to start just asking my parents where the clothes are. And you got some, cord, some cords here today. And this is sports scene, though, does it? Oh, you, well, you bought that. Okay, yeah. cool. Good to know. Uh, Seth, tell me, you're also teaching now. Yes. So what's the kind of mindset around now being a teacher while I, uh, you are still learning, I'm assuming? Uh, yeah. You know, we, we, I mean, they're teaching me all the time. Okay. What are you teaching? Um, so I teach, I was brought in as a piano teacher, so second instrument and kind of at a, a performing arts academy where we teach um, contemporary piano, where that's more like, well, how do people learn piano now? Which is from YouTube and little chord charts and stuff, which isn't classical. So I try to... What my teachers and what my lecturers did to me was show me the real scene. And I think I tried to be as real with them as possible and show them, if you guys want to do this full time, this is what it takes. Because I don't even have it all sorted out what yet. What does it take? It takes getting yourself up, writing that song when no one else is telling you to write that song, finishing that song when no one is telling, telling you to write that song, when you don't have a gig going to find a gig, look for performances to play, maybe busking somewhere. It's just pushing and never connecting giving up. To the connecting to the Bluetooth, connecting to the Bluetooth of exactly. another artist's exactly. car. Exactly, yeah. Putting like yourself out there and just believing in yourself 100%. Round of applause for Seth Gray. I like that. That's, I mean, it's a good message. I think like a lot of the time people uh, see uh, the frills, and especially with social media now, you see uh, the kind of best moments of an artist's career. Yeah. You, see, you see Seth doing that photo shoot, hanging out with a car. You don't know where the car came from. You don't know how long it took to get the photographer. My mommy's car. His mommy's car. <laughs> cool. I feel like there's a car theme going on over here. So just think about that for the music video. I'm just going to park that with you. Uh, are you shooting a video for the song at some point? We are definitely. I'm waiting for my brother to come back so we can shoot that video. You I know? like that. He's the creative director behind me I and like all that. of that stuff. So I'm the music, he's the visuals. I like that. How <laughs> important is the family support? It means everything to me. I mean, since I was a kid, they put me on the stage. Music has been around me. And they've always supported me to what I wanted to study. When I dropped out of university and didn't make it there, they said, okay, what do you want to do now? Keep on pushing, keep on going. And... Without them, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I love that. Please, uh, shout out to your parents. Uh, it's uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Van Graan. Van Graan. <laughs> <laughs> On the note of that, so obviously we, <laughs> Seth Gray was, uh, was an, the evolution of uh, the yeah. Van Graan surname. Do you feel like it was going to be a bit too you know, guttural? I just didn't picture Van Graan on a CD cover or on an album cover. But... Yeah, mm. I mean, I don't know if they still make CD covers. You know, but, but, but even but on just the on album art, you know, yeah. even on the album is art. Is there a font for Van Graan that can make it look <laughs> attractive? I was just thinking about how international people would say it, Van Graan, and <laughs> you know, it just wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to work. But I mean, Seth Gray, it rolls off the tongue, man. I love that. Uh, we're going to get uh, your band guys up right now. Can we get a round of yeah. applause for, for the guys coming up? You know, Cape Town, Cape Town band members, they just have a, a thing about them. It's like they just have a certain walk that is different. A swagger. Yeah, like, when, you know, even though it's, it's the band member, they just have a certain, like, did you see, did you see that? I saw that over there. Uh, and, and, and on keys, uh, we got Mr. Uh, Mikhail Daris here. And I, I realized I bumped into him uh, in, in the building, and as I walked past him, and this is how you know you're getting older, because he was like, hey, ch he was, hey, sir. I was like, sir, it's so nice to meet you. My dad says hi. I was like, okay, cool. I thought maybe we're the same age, but anyway, uh, hi to you. Who's your dad? No, my dad's, oh, hi, please tell Colin I say hi. Colin, thank you for your son and for just reminding me that I am getting older. Let's make some noise tonight. Mr. Seth Gray is going to be performing live for you right now in this moment. We're going to get his mic uh, to the front and uh, to the listeners. Uh, Seth is getting ready as Garner brings the mic up. He'll be performing live. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Got that old school love thing, yeah. All that it owns. I said it's been quite a while since I felt something real. Have you ever been in a place where it feels too familiar? Like a past experience. Saying this is supernatural Yeah, but there has to be another energy involved The sun, moon, stars, or whatever God that you call on To put you in my path so we could change Feel like an old school loving Can't have like the very first kiss Not understanding what is coming But it's not a chance to win this feels like an old school loving No kind of like a very first kiss Not understanding what is coming But it's not a chance on this No, I knew I knew from the very moment I looked at you That this was more than Something I've already been through Ooh, we've barely been together But it feels like I'm knowing you forever Supernatural See, but there has to be Another energy Involved The sun, moon, stars, whatever God that you call on So put you in my path So we could change Feel you like an old school Loving So kind of like a very first kiss Not understanding what is coming But it's not a chance on this This feels like an old school Loving so kind of like a very first kiss Not understanding what is coming But it's not a chance of this break Tell me why does this feel Like we've done this before I know that it's real And we've got time to explore So if this is our best life second chance We'll make sure we will let Cause you've got me feeling like an old school loving So kind of like a very first kiss Not understanding what is coming But it's not a, it's not a chance on me Feels like an old school loving Like a very first kiss Not understanding what is coming Oh yeah, oh yeah So that song is out right now. So go on your streaming platforms, you can download that song. The next songs that I'm gonna be doing is all original material of mine. Um, but this is on my upcoming EP. So this is all unreleased stuff that I'm presenting for you guys. And yeah, I've been working on this music for quite a while. And let's just jump right into it. <laughs> I need to get this sound 
so much. So all the listeners, we're coming to you live from the SABC Auditorium. Seth Gray performing live for an incredible audience tonight. Few comments coming through over here. This one says, uh, hi Chad, hi Seth. Hi. hi <laughs> nice, keep it basic. <laughs> uh, first rule of uh, uh, interaction. Uh, and this one says, uh, feeling Seth, uh, loving the music uh, thus far. And it is uh, Seth Gray live coming to you. I think he's got a few more songs uh, left for you. And he's uh, dropping some new material uh, to an amazing audience here tonight in the SAPC Auditorium. Keep it locked in to Good Up FM. Now. 
But I've already done that Was it worth all fighting for? And no one expected things to end this way I just hope that someday I'll realize mm, So no We got one more song. This song was, I've got a good friend of mine called Royston Samuels. I just showed I'd give, thought I'd give him a shout out. He's all the way in Dubai or that side of the world. Um, and he was the, actually the co-producer on this EP with me. And when we were busy making this EP, he said, Seth, you have all these slow songs. I know you're an R&B artist and I know you're that guy, but we need something that the means it can dance to, you know? So this is my final song, and this is the final song on the EP as well called Spend the Night. Thank you so much. Spend the night with you. 
spend the night, spend the night with you, spend the night, spend the night with you, you spend the night, I want to spend the night with you. Thank you so much, good old baby. Thank you so much, Chad. Let's make some noise tonight. On the keys, we got Mikhail Darius. On guitars, Josh America. Come on now. And a big round of applause for the man himself, Mr. Seth Gray. Thank you to everyone listening in. Thank you to everyone streaming in. Thank you to the crowd. I love this energy. You got to take some of these people with you to your next show. Uh, the live says, uh, uh, this one says, yes, uh, Seth, yes, Josh, yes, Mikhail, some flames. Uh, Rory Samuel says, soulful with some flames. And then Malene says, good evening, Seth, loving the music. Uh, we're going to head into Betty coming up in the next few minutes, only on Simon Says Live Sessions. One more massive round of applause, Seth Gray. <laughs>
best. You are loved. A welcome to Simon Says Live Sessions. You guys having a good time in the venue? Yeah, every, everyone streaming in at home, hi to you and everyone listening in, a welcome to it again. I want to welcome to you a big round of applause, even if you're at home, in your kitchen, listening on the wireless. I want you to clap your hands and put your hands together for Idol Season 17 winner sitting right next to me right now. She goes by the name of Betty. <laughs> welcome to it. Thank you. So, so, okay, it's my first time actually speaking uh, to an Idol winner on this uh, seat. <laughs> So, so I'm just adapting to that space, okay. you know. But I'm used to being around winners, yes. and that's a good thing. Yes. That's a good thing. Surround Thank yourself you. with the people you want to be like, right? See, that's how, <laughs> we, that's how winners speak. That's how winners speak. First things first. Uh, firstly, congratulations on the win. Uh, and secondly, this conversation is not only going to be about that because uh, I know that you have a lot of experience in the industry. You've been doing a lot of things before that moment. Uh, and that's where I'm going to start this conversation. Let's talk about some of the challenges you faced before you entered the competition? Oh man, the industry is really rough. Um, as a musician, to try and get any kind of gigs, you know, if, if you're not in the industry and you don't know the right people, I mean, you're doing gigs where you sing for four hours for 500 bucks, but you're doing it because, you know, you, you need to make money. You do what you have to do. Exactly, and especially if you've got kids. So, you know, the... the How many do you have? Four. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can we get a round of applause for having a music career <laughs> and, for, and for those? Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah, that's, that's why you hustle. You do what you have to do. And uh, I think that was the... <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone in the crowd is just digesting that quickly. <laughs> but it was like, you. I, ca so I carried two of them, ne? I carried two of them. Okay. And the other two, I have the privilege of raising as well. Because amazing. they're my husband's boys. Oh, that's so. beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. And it, is there like music in the house? Oh, yeah. Well, listen, my little three-year-old girl, she doesn't stop singing. If you go to my social media, you'll see. She okay. doesn't stop. And then I want to sing with her because it's exciting. She goes, Mommy, stop. <laughs> like, no, I've really? been there. I've been, <laughs> trust me, I've been there before. I've been, I've been in that. Space. It's, it's one of the hardest uh, rejection moments that what? you can actually get. I thought it sounded beautiful. No, stop. 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 Yeah. Stop it's singing. It's my turn. Like, okay. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And, and obviously, you, you, you kind of just work your way up and you work your way through the industry until you get to a point. So you entered Idols before? Yeah. Okay. How long ago was that? So that's 11, well, 12 years now this year, but I entered in 2010. Okay. Yeah. And then when I entered last year, it was 11 years later. Okay. And did yeah. you feel like when you got there, you felt a bit more ready? Yeah, I think it's kind of because I just, I let go of all the control. You know, this when you're grown up, you know, there's more important things. Yeah. So, um, I, it wasn't a case of if I don't win, I'm going to die. You know, my life depends on it. I get so that. So, it wasn't like that anymore. I and completely get that. Yeah, you just go for it. And I think as you, you know, as you mature and as you develop in the industry, you also get to understand that there are so many things that just go on in our heads. <laughs> You think there's this massive yeah. battle outside, but it's actually just you versus yes, you sometimes, right? Exactly. And you're looking at everyone around you like, oh my word, that person looks cool. They must be amazing. Yeah. And then, you know, you, you, you're getting yourself in this place of doubt and it's yeah. not good, you know, just go and do what you know you can do. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Go and do what you know you can do, <laughs> kids out there listening. Yeah. Uh, when, when people bump into you now in the mall and the <laughs> shop, <laughs> it's a bit different, obviously, right? It's very funny, I must say, because... You know, you walk around and you think that people are skiffing you out like you got something stuck in your teeth because they're looking at you like this. It's like... Is it her? Is it her? And then somebody I went to, I went to um, Krispy Kreme and I go in. She's like, you look, you know, you look like Barry from Idols. I'm like, it is me. <laughs> ah! She starts jumping and screaming and she runs around, she hugs me. So yeah. it's, but it's sweet. I love it. I think yeah. it's absolutely amazing. I love, I love COVID that. took that kind of, that away. And now it's, I can it's actually back. embrace people yeah. and you it's know, awesome. It's such an amazing feeling just sitting here with this uh, incredible crowd in front yeah. of us. And I'm not just calling you incredible because you're here. Uh, <laughs> it is really great to have you here and you guys are looking good and sounding good and you're in it. And that's all we need on this yeah. side. Yeah, give yourself Woo! a round of applause. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming out this way. And, uh, you know, tonight uh, when you perform, obviously it's a different kind of environment. We live on air, yeah. we streamed in, and there's an audience. So when last have you done something that is at this level of, I'd say, the, the hybrid nature? 
Well, I mean, every every Sunday on Idols, it's it's live television. There's um, a few. There were a few pods that were kind of like spaced out with some people. So there was kind of movement, but not really, you know. Most of the time, you're just singing for a camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which, which we, I think a lot of people had to get used to during the it, pandemic, right? It was right? very weird, you know. I, w I like engaging. I like seeing people yeah. and, and singing for them to make yeah. them happy, not a, not a camera. <laughs> Absolutely, I get that. I asked Seth the question about his surname because he, he was like, yeah, he's Van Graan, and that's how he created <laughs> Seth Gray, and I was like, yeah, 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 I get that. Is, is Betty your, your actual name? No, so in, in grade, uh, my, my parents would be very cool if they did name me Barry, but yeah. in, in grade four, I had a friend who said, um, hi, I'm Victoria, what's your name? I said, my name's Berenica. Berenica. So she said, okay. that's too long, your name is now Barry. Oh, wow, <laughs> I like that. I like that, Berenica. Yeah, yeah. That's expensive. It's too long. That's expensive. You know, that's the, the kind of name when they go to home affairs and you just have to <laughs> pay that little bit extra for the... Cause <laughs> Just from the origins of the name Berenica, I think it comes from Benice somewhere, which has a sense to do with victory. Oh my the gosh. name the name Berenice means victory, bearer of victory. Oh. So mm. here we are. That explains it. That explains it. That explains <laughs> it. That explains it. Uh, we're looking to forward to the performance tonight. Uh, you got into studio after you won the competition. You put the, put some music out. Well, How was that for you? when we went into the top three, we got a single. And obviously, mine yeah. was a, a Zulu song. Yes. I don't speak any kind of vernac. Okay. I had to learn it and record it within two and a half hours. Can we give Betty a round of applause for that? <laughs> and I think, you know, you're really in that position. I mean, I know it goes, the top three all get songs. Uh, I used to, when I used to be a songwriter, I'd write for people. I've pitched for that once before. I didn't get it because the person who had my song didn't win. That's how it works, right? And then the others can't release it. But that's not the point. The point is that you kind of, in that moment, can't be like, actually, no, this... Yeah. Not, it's no. like, do you like it? Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah, it's great. I, I, lo I love it's, it. I love it's, it. It's good. I love it. <laughs> It's fine. And, and you went into the studio, you had to kind of learn the words, get into the groove. I mean, the yeah. song sounds good. No, listen, I love the song. I do love it, and it's a beautiful love song. Um, for those who don't understand Zulu, it's, it's just a love song about finding the most amazing person. And um, that's why I connected with it, because, you know, I feel like that about my husband. Yeah, he's so, here, uh, right? Yeah. He's here, yeah. I saw him, I met him, a cool guy. Is he, is he into music as well? He is the drummer in my band, and he'll okay. actually be playing in my okay. show tomorrow night. He's yeah, playing so in your show? you got a show yeah, tomorrow night. Where's tomorrow. that happening? Oh, where's uh, that happening? Wave Theatre on okay. Lava Street, yeah. Okay, <laughs> and people can come out and see it. Yeah. They could just buy tickets at the door. So this is kind of like, a, you know what, this is, I'm going to give you a, a bit of my arm, but if you want the entire... <laughs> you want through. a full band? I like that. Everything, the whole schwam, you can come through. So on the note of band, we're going to get your band guys up uh, to the stage right now. They, they, they're all gearing to go. Please give them a massive round of applause, guys, as they make their way to the front. Anyway, anyway. Walk in front of me, it's fine. It's okay. But can you just introduce us into, to, to who's here tonight? So both of them are on guitars so me, over there? Yeah, we got guitar, guitar. That's one over there is John Smith. John Smith. This one over here is Vian Tron. Vian, like that. They both sing and play guitar. They're okay. amazing. Okay. Yep, yep. Over here we've got Evan de Villiers, and he's the key maker. I like that. Yeah. Give him a massive <laughs> round of applause. Barry's about to go into a performance uh, to the listeners at home. You are listening to a Simon Says Live session. We're coming to you out of the SABC Auditorium. One more massive, massive round of applause for Barry, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. As Barry makes her way to the front of the stage, I'll be checking out some of the comments on the Facebook Live.
But you needed proof You saw her bathing on the roof Her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you She tied you to her kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair You guys have no idea. It's so much fun. And I can see your smiles and everything. No masks. Absolutely amazing. All right. So I chose songs for tonight that everyone should know. Um, purely because I'm still waiting to release my album. That's coming out early October. Yes. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited for that. But I want you guys to sing along. I want you to enjoy it. I, want to, I wanted great songs. There is one song right at the end that is one of my own songs that I released before Idols. And that's something special because I have never sung it live. So that's going to be very exciting for me. <laughs> so let's start with the next one, shall we? I've got Vian joining me with this one.
sing along then you're gonna love the next one you're gonna love the next one you guys I'm looking at you you're gonna love the next one shall we who you want all right so his actual name is you his actual name is you but his stage name is John Smith and he's the South African cowboy and he is going to have some fun with us singing a song that you all know and love its name actually I'm not gonna tell them because they're gonna recognize it eh? yeah good idea okay shout it when you recognize it eh? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something else you're searching for? I'm falling. In all the good times, I find myself longing for change. And in the bad times, I fear myself. You guys ready? Hmm? Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Or do you need more? Is there something that you're searching for? I'm falling. In all the good times, I find myself longing for change. And in the bad times, I fear myself. I'm a bit deep in what you say. In the shallow, shallow, in the shallow, shallow, in the shallow, shallow, we're far from the shallow now. Oh. Let's make some noise, very live in the house. Uh, she's uh, just having a sip of water. Crowd is going nuts tonight. I love that. So many great messages coming through on the live. This one comes through from Rosina saying, ooh, I love it with a whole lot of heart eye emojis. Another one coming through from Karen Smith uh, saying, ooh, he love it, love it, love it. Betty Traitsman, uh, that's what Karen Smith uh, says. You guys having a good time in the venue? Yeah. Love that. <laughs> She's having a sip of water right now to the listeners at home. Listen, I might be singing for years, but whew, when you get a song like that, it takes everything away. What do you think of these two gentlemen? Okay, what do you think of this gentleman? I mean, 
I, I do believe that um, you need to give credit where it's due. They might not have won idols, but I think they are absolutely amazing musicians. Okay, now that I've got my breath back, let's hit you with the last song. So this is an original. It is just a beautiful song that um, I hope you do enjoy it. It's, um, uh, it's just something that means so much to me to be able to sing one of my own songs live that I wrote with my husband before um, Idols. Yeah, husband's hiding at the back in the corner. <laughs> the guy with all the tattoos and piercings that looks like he's gonna steal everything, that guy. <laughs> Thank you for being so amazing and showing love. It's the first official crowd I've been singing to after Idols. You rock! Woo! One more massive round of applause for Barry. Well done to the guys. Thank you so much for being here. Big round of applause for Seth Gray as well, who performed a bit earlier. And we were surely blessed with some incredible talent tonight. And that takes us to the end of Simon Says Live Sessions. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Seth Gray. Thank you to all of you. Uh, give yourself a massive round of applause tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, coming through and spending some time with us tonight. To all the listeners listening in, keep it locked into Good Up FM. Everyone streaming in, thank you for joining us. Such beautiful comments uh, over here. A whole lot of awesomes, a whole lot of heart eyes, a whole lot of hearts coming through uh, just for you. Uh, that was Simon Says Live Session. We do this again next month. Thank you. <laughs>